Hello everybody, this is Kathy, and welcome to my channel. Today I will be doing Simple Makes number two. I hope you join me. What you'll need as far as materials, you'll need from Dollar Store, or I, they might sell them at Walmart. You get three little mini composition books in a pack. You'll need all three of them. What we'll be doing is we'll be deconstructing the packs, opening them up, taking the paper out, and then reconstructing a little chunky journal with them. So let's get started. I've already done one. I'm gonna remove this paper. And all you do is you open to the center. And if you have a seam ripper, that would probably be the easiest way to do it. But if you're not a sewer, you can use your little pokey tool. And it's very easy for you to take the paper out. And be sure not to poke yourself. I've poked myself so many times with this all thing. It's all inclusive. I'm gonna remove all the paper from this one as well. So that's two. And one more to go. So I've retained the papers, but only the papers from one of them. And the next thing we're going to do is compile the papers for the signatures. And we're going to do that by taking, I took, I believe I have 20 sheets here, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15 sheets. And then I took other types of papers the same way we would do for a regular journal. I have some coffee dyed composition paper and I have three, six, nine pages of that. I have some ledger paper. I have three pages of that. I have some little kind of graph paper, three pages of that. I have some book print, two pages of that. And tracing paper, three pages of that. And then I have some specialty paper and I have three, six pages of that. Now the paper measures, once it's folded, let's see. It's just under six and a half inches, so a blip under six and a half, and it's, or let me make sure. I'm sorry, it's six and one, two, three eighths long and four and three eighths high. Now I have some different sizes here cause I did cut some short. Um, but what you want to do is you wanna be sure you measure your inside. You can do that simply by taking one of the pieces of paper measure that and I would make your inside papers a little bit smaller than this um, just to be sure 
okay? And the reason I took out all the papers, essentially in a signature, we typically want about 15 pages. I might have a little more, I might have to take out some, but we will see. So I'm gonna to put together my signature. I'm going to start with one of the colorful pages. One, two, three, Let me open this up and do it the right way. Let me have that next. And you'll see my papers, other than this color pa cover paper, are a little larger, and that's okay. We might have to trim it. Hopefully not. So I ended with the book page, this one. I'll put a ledger paper in. Another color paper. A little ledger paper here. So let's see what I have. I have one, two, three, four, five. Need a little tracing paper. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and we'll disperse this. Ten, put two of these together, eleven. You see how many I have left? I want to put five of the composition book pages in. So I don't mind putting a few together of those. And we're going to put, I think I was putting three of these in. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. And that is one, two, one, then one more of these. And I was going to put three pretty pages in. So I know I have one, two, use one more of those, I believe. Let me make sure. I have one, two, Oh, I was putting two pages in. So I actually have too many in here. I'm a me, me, me. No, I have three counting this. Okay. Next thing we need to do is I am going to round the pages of all the papers, and I should have done this first, of all the papers that are not rounded already. And I'm going to do it if you have a memories keeper on the one half inch side.
So that's one, and I'm okay with it not being lined up. As long as it doesn't show in here. I think once I sew it, it will be okay. Might have to put some lace on the cover to cover the edges, but that's okay. So we're going to put this one aside for a moment. So those are our three signatures put getting ready to go in. And I am going to, before we attach our mini books together, which we will be doing like this, I am going to sew these in. And I'm going to sew them in almost like a hidden cover using these three pieces, one for each book. And these measure about four and, I'm sorry, not four and a half. Yeah, four and a quarter by about two and a half. What you want to do is measure a piece that's going to go down and cover the spine. And here's my piece. And first, I'm going to get these good and kind of pushed in. Come on. And I'm going to clip them. With this in place just like you would do a regular journal binding. And I'm going to poke three holes. We'll do a pamphlet stitch. Where's my little thingamabubber? They have these at Dollar Tree for $1.25. which is perfect. And 
And you see, I just eyeball it. I'm gonna sew that in place. I have some waxed embroidery thread. I get in a pack from Amazon. I'm going to take this off and put it around back. And we're gonna go down through the center. Leave a tail. I'm going to clip my tail here. Up through the top. I think I moved it. I think I moved it. Help, help. Down through the bottom. back up through the center. Make sure my thread's on the opposite side of the center thread than the first go round. And make sure it's tight. And tie it in a double knot. Take those off. I'm actually going to cut this a little more. And then I'm going to glue this together. Actually, I'm going to use my tape runner. some little tape sticking over and that hides the binding for me and then I'm going to glue this again And normally I wouldn't use a tape runner here, but I think these are small enough where it will stick in place. So I'm going to take this. I'm actually going to stand it up, bend it, and stick it right in there. Just like that. Get it down as far as I can. Where am I? Okay, that's the first one, and I'm good with that. It's on to the second one. First, I'm going to put glue on this part of the book, the cover, because I'm going to be gluing this
two. Ooh. I'm going to glue it right to here. I was spacing out a little bit. Now, I'm gonna glue that there. Now we're going to glue these together. Just like that. And we have one more. Want to be sure to go over the spine there. Get up. Try again. Okay, that works. Next thing I want to do is these are the cover pieces, but before I put this on, I want to put something to cover the spine. So I need something that's going to match. Maybe I'm going to use some book tape. I'm going to use some of this book tape. And if you don't have book tape, you can simply do it with a piece of paper. Fold a piece of paper to cover your binding. Here, I'm going to pull it very tight. Cut off the excess. Just like that. I want to grab some lace here. And I'm going to put on the covers. I think my covers were these. And Actually, going to use wet glue for the covers.
know this will be a little longer because the book tape was a little longer. I like to work with the wet tape on the cover because it's a little more forgiving. You have time to move it. I'm going to trim this so I can get glue all over my scissors. My scissors like that. They work so well. <laughs> and Okay, cute. You run this. I am going to put this between the inside cover and the outside cover. like that and let's see this might go a little better hmm. let me around the edges. So what this does, this covers up the hidden binding inside, shows me where I need to trim. And then we added the lace that covers up the papers that are over the edge. And I'm going to do the same thing back here. And remind myself what color I used. Round the edges. and stick it in.
Okay. There are the bases for the book. Now we still have to put the inside cover on here. Put any color, whoops. Like it needs to be trimmed. And one on this side. So do all of these while I'm here. Okay. Now what you might want to do when you put these inside covers in, which I did not do, is make a pocket. Maybe I'll do it with the last one. The last ones, rather. So I'm going to take it, cut a little notch, And I'll glue it on three sides, sides and the bottom. That gives me a nice little pocket. And then on this side, I will not make a pocket. That could make it too bulky. So I'll just put glue here. Just like that. cute. And for the closure, I'm going to put two holes back here. and add some eyelets.
and simply add some twine. You could add ribbon or twine. And what I like to do is wrap it around. I'm going to add if I have it. I don't know if this will go through. It won't. Let me see if I use my needle, if this can go through my needle. Oh, sorry for all the glue on my hands. Nope. So, what I'm going to do is take this out and use my twine or my wax thread that I used. Whoops, wrong way. And Okay, let's see if this works. Oops. That one. Okay. I'm just going to tie a knot on one end, actually a double knot together. That should be enough to keep the beads in place. Then I'm going to tie a knot at this end.
Okay. So going to tie this one as well. And we have two together. You can wrap around. Where's the front? Wrap around and tuck. Whoop, we're going this way. Okie doke. So that is the basics of a simple journal save all your off cuts so you can whoops wrong way i put the closure in the front which is okay i didn't want it there but i can live with it then we can hang the beads off the front There you have it. So I hope you try to make one. And I know this video went on a little longer than I anticipated. I um, have some things that I'll be putting into the journal. Here's a little coin envelope. I was going to put in also a uh, little tea bag pocket and I'll go ahead and put that in right now. And in that pocket there's a little tag a little pocket on the front. Cute. And let's see what else I had in here. And I'll put one tea bag in each signature. I don't want to keep you for that. I do have these little tuck fold outs you can write on. So let me put one of those in. I kind of like it there. It's going to need to have a rounded corner. Like that. And that folds out so you can write on it. And what else do I have? Oh, I have a little another little corner. I'll put in the middle signature. And I think I'll put that there and around the corners and these are things that I make and keep on hand so I encourage you to do that it really kind of inspires you while you're making your journal you can get everything out and ready um, before you sit down to make
And I have a little, little tag here. Maybe we'll need some color. Okay, well, I've taken enough of your time. I hope you make this cute little journal. It's going to end up being a bit chunky once you get it filled up. Um, but I think it's so cute. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. You all have a great day. And here is my finished cover. Thanks again for watching. Have a good one. Bye.